Christian Pulisic, of course, given a rare start and making the most of it as well with a hat trick. Uh, a very impressive performance from the youngster. Uh, Frank, let's start with you. What did you make of it? Well, I was really amazed. I mean, it hasn't been a very good start from him, a difficult one, still lots of question marks. And for the uh, American audience uh, in front of us, you know, I'm very, very pleased because the guy does well. He worked hard. Um, he still needs to improve a lot of his game, but he's getting there, working again very hard to, to make sure that uh, he's going to achieve something for the Blues. What he did yesterday prove that he has the talent, that he has the stamina, and uh, that he deserves to be at the Chelsea Football Club. Yeah, I don't think his talent has ever been in question. I think the big thing was always be, go there and be patient. And, you know, the, the level of frustration, and Frank mentioned this side of the pond here in America, the level of frustration was, was galling a little bit because no player has the divine right to walk into any big club and start, particularly one where there are other options, other young options. And so the whole point was, like, be patient, wait your chance, which he did get against Ajax, did very, very well when he came off the bench. And that meant Frank Lampard thought, well, hold on, I think I should play this guy at the weekend, give him a chance, gets a hat trick. Now it's about consistency. Now it's about the confidence level and whether Frank Lampard's going to keep him in the team full time. But I don't think there was any doubt that at some point we we're going to see a good Christian Pulisic. The point was how much game time is he going to get? Uh, what do you make of those saying on Twitter? See, Frank, this is why you should have been playing him more. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> well, listen, he's, the talent is, has never been in question. It's about consistency. And, and sometimes, depending on what team you play for, regardless of whether you're consistent or not, the manager can just let you play. And then you, you learn that way. Unfortunately for him, he's got so much competition for a place. Mm -hmm. that Frank, can, Frank, Frank can put Pedro in or Villiers uh, or Hudson Odoi. So the competition is what makes it hard for him to be stepping on the field week after week. Now, if he continues doing this, then he'll, be, he'll end up being Mason Mount, who... Yeah. Is one of the first on the team sheet. The trouble is, you can have middle ground here. And it seems there's a lot of people... Are you sure, Craig? I'm not sure you can in the age of social media. Well, <laughs> anyone... you know, when he's not playing like he was out of the team and he sometimes wasn't coming off the bench, it's not the biggest disaster. And when he scores a hat-trick, it doesn't mean he's going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread between now and the end of the season. But it's a stepping stone. Yeah. And it's a stepping stone for every young player. And he's just a, one, one of a group of them. So it's about patience... I have to say, and we talked about it last week, it's been a great run for Frank Lampard thus far. Uh, the one thing, I'm talking about Arsenal and the difference between Arsenal and Chelsea and where they are, Chelsea have at least a plan in their head of what they want to do. OK, the playing personnel are probably a little better or maybe a lot better, but at least they've got a plan of what they want to do and how they want to play and how they're trying to get over the line. And that at least gives them a base to try and go and get wins. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.